With an FC TV with Chris Agata looking ahead of the homecoming this Saturday against Hornchurch. Aggie, how much are you looking forward to, to getting underway here at the Sussex Transport Community Stadium? Yeah, very excited. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it'll be, sure be good fun. Should be enjoyable. Um, just nice to, nice to bring the team uh, home and, and, and give uh, the supporters an opportunity to see um, to see where we're at and um, show them what we can do. Really, looking at Hornchurch as an opposition, what have uh, what, yeah? What can you expect from them as an opposition? Really, uh, I think they're very good. Uh, I think they're obviously I see them last year up close. Um, they're a very good side. They've got. Uh, real threat in forward areas. Um, they get the ball forward quickly. They don't sort of hang about. Um, they make you defend your box. They put you under pressure. Uh, but they do it with real quality. Um, and as I said, they've got really good individuals, especially in forward areas, that um, uh, could get in most teams at the level. So uh, it should be uh, it should be a, a, a stiff test. But as I said, one that one that we look forward to. You come into it off the back of uh, six points off your last two games, yeah. a double header again away from home. Yeah. Um, yeah, two positive results captured in brilliant moments. What's mm. what your main takeaways from from the past weekend? Um, just that we're uh, that we're playing in moments. We're we're producing some some fantastic football in moments, and uh, the challenge for us is to turn those moments into spells and spells into halves and halves into games. That's that's uh, that's sort of the the challenge that we've got in front of us. Um, but what we've been able to do is is beat um, some of the best teams in the league. I think in Bourne Wood, like I, like I said, that I think anyone that finishes above them will be there or thereabouts. They're a very good side, very well coached, very well organised. Um, so for us to have beaten them uh, whilst we we're way short of our best. Um, and whilst we're playing in moments um, is a real indication of what we can potentially do and I think it was a real um, vindication of the importance of working hard and, and doing the ugly stuff and showing that grit and determination um, because that can take you a hell of a long way when you've got such a talented group of players so um, I think I think um, yeah, as I said, it's going to be be tough against Hornchurch, but if we can turn those moments into spells and produce more of those moments, um, and continue to work hard and and uh, show the same mentality as what we have done in the past, uh, well, to be fair, but for the entire season, really, it's, it's been a, it's been a difficult start, but we've we've come out of it in a good place, and um, you know, like I said, the most exciting thing is there's so much more to improve on. And looking at the squad going into Saturday's match. Um Joel Colbrand, is he back fit or, or anyone here? No, uh, he's walking through the door right now as we speak actually. No, he's uh, he's going to be in with um, the medical department. They're going to try and put him through his paces, but I'd be surprised if he is available for um, Hornchurch. I hope he is, um, because uh, we need him back um, in the squad and uh, his influence is massive. So, um, you know, again, probably uh, further reiterates what a decent couple of results we've had against Hampton and Bournemouth um, over the weekend just gone because we're missing key players like Joel, like our club captain. So um, I doubt he'll be available, but um, I'll, I'll still push the, the physios and, the, and the, the guys in the medical department to try and do their best. And I think, is it just Cameron Tut uh, on the injury list as well as, well as Joel? Yes, yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, Tutty and uh, Joel are the only ones at the moment, obviously before training. So uh, they're the only ones that are uh, uh, unavailable. And can we just have a quick update on Tutty's injury as well and where he's at? Uh, yeah, he's he's just come out of a boot. Obviously, he had a broken foot, so uh, he's just come out of a boot and he's just started running. Um, so he's weight bearing about a week ago, and, and now he's running. So um, again, the, the medical department did some great work in putting him through his paces, and hopefully, he shouldn't be too too long, it'd be a little bit longer than Joel, I expect it to be weeks rather than days um, for Tutty, but um, as I said, it's important we, we take our time and we get him right because we saw him pre-season, um, albeit um, only a snapshot, you know, way at Brighton, he was superb and we need that, that quality to help us do what we want to do. Brilliant, thanks Aggie, all the best Saturday. Cheers,